Joining us for the first time, syndicated columnist and Pulitzer Prize winner George Will. He's now a Fox News contributor. George, we're honored to have you on the panel. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. Uh, we're not quite as honored, but very excited to have Kirsten Powers of the Daily Beast website, Republican political guru Carl Rove, and Democratic strategist Joe Trippi. I'm just kidding. It's, you never miss a chance. I never yeah, miss really, a chance. Really, That's really, really. Uh, it was not just you personally. It was no, the other three of us. No, it was all three of us. Right. Right. Uh, George, as we pointed out uh, with Secretary Liu that this claim that presidents have never negotiated with Congress over raising the, the debt limit is nonsense. It's happened over and over again, as we said, 27 times since 1979. Do you think that the president can stick to this refusal to negotiate, or does that at some point become completely unsustainable? Well, here's the position he would be sticking to. Default would be catastrophic. Worldwide depression, political chaos, locusts, plagues, etc. But attached to the debt ceiling increase, construction of the Keystone Pipeline, it's better to have locust plagues, crisis, and war. I mean, it's an untenable position, but the very, the, what makes the debt ceiling, this recurring crisis, so wholesome is it forces us to confront the gap between revenues and outlays. And everything you need to know about what's wrong with contemporary Washington was in your interview when the secretary said, we won't prioritize a high, a, a, a hardware store in Kankakee, Illinois, prioritizes between what to do with its first revenues that come in. We have 10 times more revenues than required to service our debt. That can be done. There's no need to default. Therefore, the administration's position and default will be our choice.